So one thing I've learned about YouTube, content creation, all that, that bullshit world, this is what I've started to really realize. The people who have, it, it's not always true, by the way, what I'm going to say, it's not black and white, but it's, 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 it's really, if you start to think about it, people who make real businesses, real mm-hmm. businesses, and are on the internet, like let's use Hermosi, he made money first with yeah. no content. Like he's only doing content now because he wants to go from a hundred million to a billion. He got to a hundred million with just paid ads and no content, like all that other shit he talks about in his book. But then there are certain people who legit made money because of content. Like I was talking to my boy yesterday about some inspirational speakers like um, E.T., the hip hop preacher. Have you ever heard of Eric Thomas? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or Trent Shelton. He's got like dreads. Have you ever heard of him before? No. Okay. Trent Shelton has a fucking book in Target. Like his book is in Target. This mm-hmm. fucker is a social media influencer. He just yeah. posted. So you've got like kind of the two extremes. And what I've learned is you do need content to build a business, but it's not, you need, you don't need tons of views and tons of reach Mm-hmm. And you really don't need tons of people to see your content organically. I've learned that the people who build a business and do content, you know what happens? They have gasoline in their engine and the gas is usually money. They have money fueling them. Like if you look at me, for example, why is it that I went through 12 years of straight zero flatline and then hockey stick growth, paid ads well, and other things. But like I gain a hundred new followers a day. I'm not relying on organic. I run yeah. ads that get me followers, then they see my other content, and then they see my YouTubes. When I look at money-making activities, I'm like, well, scripting a fucking YouTube video? I don't know. Especially editing one? Yeah. Uh, I, unless I have to edit it, I'm not spending any of my time doing anything that isn't making me money or saving me money. I would have a big, like kind of you moment sometime with a notebook and a pen and no phone or AirPods at all. And just be like, just three sections. Yes, maybe, and no. Does this make me money? And just write all the activities. Does it make money? Like getting on a sales call? Yes, (laughs) obviously. (laughs) Appointment setting? Yes. Editing an Instagram reel, maybe even more no, toward no, but definitely like maybe no. Like anything, you have to start to think about your time and your day and also realize what's out in the marketplace. We get tricked. We really do. There's business people, there's content creators. They're different. They are different. Some of them are fused, like Gary V. Gary V, you got, we all think he made money from social media. He didn't make money from social media. He had a wine business. He ran Google ads that grew that business from three to 60 million. Then he started a YouTube channel of him talking about wine when YouTube actually was like early. So they gave everyone organic reach and then he grew it from there. But paid ads is what grew his family's business, not him posting on YouTube. Gary Vee is my favorite example because why does he post so much? He runs a fucking marketing agency. He runs a yeah. media business. Of course, he needs to showcase what he can fucking do. So yeah, of course he's going to fucking post a ton. But then like Andy Frisella, who runs a fucking supplement business, is like, I don't really give a fuck about posting. I'm going to do my podcast the way I want. Mm-hmm. That's it. I don't make my money from social media. Do I need to be posting every day? Absolutely not. Are you fucking no? Are you fucking yeah. kidding? So When your clients pay you, do they care how many views you get or do they want hot beats? But does it help it's you make more it... money to have more views? No. It maybe kind of does, but like, again, you have to think about where you're at. Like, if we're at below 10K a month level, we, mm-hmm. we like really aggressively have to prioritize. Wrapping it all up, idea, the idea here is yes. see the truth, realize that when it comes to actually growing a business, there's so many activities that you could be doing that... It's like you kind of actually want to make like a spectrum of yes, no, maybe. And like, does this make me money? Sales calls all the way. Yes. Appointment settings all the way. Yes. And then content creation is kind of like leaning toward no. Um, Anything around content creation is leaning toward no. Client fulfillment, it's a little more toward the yes. 
right? Mm -hmm. Mixing, getting on your group call, that's like more toward the S. Yeah. 